Hi everybody, my name is Lisa. Welcome back to my channel. So I um, have some Scentsy collection hauls that I want to share with you. I have the mental health awareness, the um, Sensepirations, and the Father's Day bars. So I want to go over those um, so that I can get to melting them, warming them and everything because, um, and let me turn, I have my notes here. Um, I'm really excited to try some of these. So first I'm going to do the mental health. This one comes in a really cute box. I really like that. Really pretty colors, nice calm colors. Let me open this here. This is kind of hard to do this way, but so they will be in this little box like this. So I'm going to take them out over here so that I can show you them. And we'll start off with chamomile and vanilla. These are also like my first sniffs of these. So chamomile and vanilla is chamomile flower and sheer vanilla share a meditative moment of calm. So this would be your calm, um, nice calming scent. And it is very calm. It reminds me of stargazing. A lot of people have said that and it definitely does. Um, so I'm thinking that's probably the chamomile flower and the way the uh, sheer vanilla, sheer vanilla makes me think kind of perfumey vanilla, like a body care vanilla. So I'm thinking that's maybe where that gets its, um, that scent from, because it is kind of perfumey, but in a good way. So it's kind of like a cross to me between jammy time and um, stargazing, if you remember stargazing. So I really like that one. I'm anxious to warm that. I think that's going to be good. Um, next, this was another one I'm super excited about, rosemary and mint. I love the smell of rosemary. I'm sorry, I have to smell this because I'm also doing my first um, sniffs. Oh, wow. So it's a rush of fresh garden mint invigorates rosemary oil and eucalyptus. So on the bottom, to me, I get a lot of the eucalyptus. So it's a pretty um, light green colored wax, almost like a sage type of green, I guess. Um, and it is uh, very, hmm. So it's eucalyptus, like in a way, like almost like you would put in a uh, humidifier or whatever, like remember like the Vicks type of thing. So it's definitely invigorating. I really, I kind of get rosemary in the way that I get like an herbal um, scent from it, but I don't know if as soon as I smell it, I'd pick out rosemary, but I get herbal. I really don't get mint because I feel like the eucalyptus kind of drowns it out, that it's definitely more, um, like I said, Vicks type of scent, but it's definitely a rush when you smell it because it's very um, Vicks heavy. Okay, so next is blue lavender and bergamot. Lavender, bergamot, and a touch of eucalyptus encourage rejuvenation in every breath. So it's a beautiful um, blue, like a cornflower blue almost type of wax. So I get lavender right on the top. Let's see. Mm. This is beautiful. I don't really smell bergamot because bergamot's citrusy. I mainly feel like I smell a very herbal lavender and then um, the eucalyptus, but the eucalyptus in this one is not near as heavy as the eucalyptus in uh, rosemary and mint. So it's not as um, like medicinal. It's more of an herbal type refreshing eucalyptus. And then next is lemon and mandarin. And this is in an orangish, that looks yellow on my camera, but it's actually orange. Um, this is a citrus infusion of Meyer lemon and mandarin lightens the mood with a hint of lime. And it's a nice um, light orange uh, peachy color. So this is supposed to be the one that would be like uplifting and, um, you know, another kind of just makes you happy type of scent like sunshine or. So I smell the mandarin i think this is kind of light and it's not overly citrus like you would think there'd be with meyer lemon and mandarin and lime like it would be super strong and super citrus but i almost get a little bit of perfuminess so i don't know this one 
I'll have to see warming. This is not really what I expected. I expected it to be more invigorating than it is. It's not really, um, like I said, it's not a really strong citrus at all. So we'll have to see how that does warming. So that is the mental health collection. So I'm just gonna move those into the background here. And again, I filmed another video earlier and the reason I'm doing it this way is because my hair is not done. Um, I just, no makeup on, and I just don't really feel like anybody seeing me that way. So that's why you're getting this type of video. Okay, so next, I had to take a sip of coffee, I'm sorry. Next, I have the Father's Day. Um, so the first one is going to be Black Tie Affair. There's three bars in this collection, and I think it comes out the 13th of May. The Mental Health Collection's out now. The only thing that's sold out is the Buddy. I think that you can get like a room spray, I think a scent circle. Um, you can get a bath soak, maybe a hand soap. I'm not sure, I think, or, or a hand cream, and then the bars. So that's, and the bars, I don't believe you can get individual. I think because it, this one so much gets donated to the mental health. Um, it's a, uh, it's, I don't want to say fundraiser. It's like a charitable cause thing. Um, you can't buy them separate. So anyway, on to the Father's Day. So the first one's going to be Black Tie Affair. This one's vanilla tobacco, suits up with notes of vetiver and a spritz of white grapefruit. Mmm, I smell the tobacco. Oh, I like this one. So it's in this really nice black packaging. And it looks like it has like a tuxedo on there, if you can see that. It's a beautiful white wax. So pretty. I mean, I, I know white's not really pretty, but it's so crisp and clean. Oh, this is so good. I definitely smell the tobacco and it's, it is cologne. -y. I don't smell white grapefruit at all. I don't really think I smell vetiver. I definitely just smell like a perfumey or cologne tobacco type scent. This is really good. I'm going to really look forward to warming that. And I do like cologne scents, so these will be perfect. Um, next is day on the field. Bergamot energizes fresh notes of amber and sandalwood. I feel like they're using a ton of bergamot this year. Oh, this is good. This is almost like some a uh, man just um like the shower is steamy and on the on the top as soon as I smell it, it's like they're using a body wash in the shower. You go in, you smell um the bathroom smells like uh it's warm and you get the smell of the cologne or the body wash and it's kind of light. Then you turn it over and it's like more saturated. Like now he got out and he sprayed himself with the cologne. <laughs> so this is definitely like a body wash. Um, I definitely the amber and the sandalwood and it's a beautiful green, beautiful green. Love that color. So yes, this is definitely a body wash um, cologne, kind of like an ax type, like not a super, um, not an expensive cologne or anything like that, but that's exactly what it reminds me of. Next is Open Air Exploring, and this is the last one. There's only three in this collection. Jasmine blossoms float above aquatic greens with a splash of refreshing salt water. It's kind of weird that there'd be jasmine blossoms in a men's, but uh, we'll see. So it's a beautiful blue, and then you have, it looks like it has mountains on it. Nice, pretty blue. Oh, this is nice. This is very refreshing. So I smell the jasmine on the bottom. I don't know that I smell aquatic greens, but it does give you, I guess, of a watery type of floral. Um, definitely cologne. -y. All three of these are like cologne, but this is a little bit more of a refreshing type cologne. You do get that aquatic feel from it as opposed to the other ones are more, like this one would be more of an aquatic um, feel, uh, lighter um, scent, where this, like I said, is more of like an Axe body wash. And this one is more of a um, actual cologne, I would say. It's a deep, rich tobacco. So 
that would be the difference, I guess, in these. Um, this one's definitely got more of a floral undertone, and it's um, with the aquatic, if that makes sense. So those are the Father's Day bars. So then next... And last but not least here, we have the Sensperations. Um, and they are, um, they do a collections. They've been doing these every, like twice a year. They will do, pick a bar that's in the catalog that's uh, generally like a bestseller. And they will add other scents to it, like to make spinoffs of these scents. So they picked um, Black Raspberry Vanilla and it comes in this really pretty box. Personally for me, I grabbed it because I thought some of them sounded good. But raspberry, black raspberry vanilla, it is a bestseller. But to me, it doesn't do that great personally. But I thought I would try them. And this is super pretty too. This is what the inside of the box uh, lid when you lift it. That's really pretty. I like that. Okay, so I'm going to take these bars out. And this collection has five bars in it. You always get, with the Sensepiration, you always get the actual bar that it's, um, the bar that, like, is the inspiration for it. So, um, you know, like, I think the one year, I know they did Christmas Cottage or something um, for Christmas this time. So then you would have got that bar. So it's the same way with this one. You get the Black Raspberry Vanilla. So this is in the catalog. And they say that it's a bestseller, like I said. And Black Raspberry Vanilla, I need to find where I wrote this one down. Sorry, guys. I wrote down the scent notes because I don't have a separate thing to look at everything. Um, Black Raspberry Vanilla is de delicious, sun-sweetened dark berries warmed with vanilla. So, to me, you smell... This is a beautiful color, by the way. You smell the dark deep dark berry scent a little bit of i don't want to say sour but a fruity tart scent but then it's to me it gets a little perfumey like i wish with these there'd be a little more vanilla but it's it's a black raspberry vanilla like that would remind you of bath and body works back in the day black raspberry vanilla i think that was a very popular scent it smells almost exactly like that so then um they added the different scents to kind of come up with this little sensepiration. So we have black raspberry frosting, and this one is going to be whipped marshmallow and buttercream sweetened dark rich berries. So we have a very pretty like pastel type purple color, very pretty. Oh, that smells so good. On the top, I get the buttercream. And let me see if I can get it out, what the bottom smells like. Oh, it broke in half. Oh, wow. So my bar broke in half, but that's good because I can smell the middle of it. This actually smells really good. I think this is going to be nice. It's actually more overpowering, like just the buttercream itself. I'm sorry. I'm trying to get this back in. The goofy thing. Okay. So my bar broke in half, as you can see. <laughs> so that is what I'm fighting with right now. Because the way it broke, you can't just put it in normal. I have to put the one piece in first. Okay, so definitely get a bakery vibe um, from this. Um, and it's not just the buttercream. You can tell there is the whipped marshmallow in there with it. I think this one's going to be pretty. It's kind of a medium to me right now. I feel like it is kind of strong how or medium you know, strength. I don't know how it would be on warm. But um, it does smell fairly strong. Okay, next is black raspberry linen, which you would think would be kind of weird to have a linen scent mixed with a fruit. But I think a lot of times they actually do good, especially with this darker type of berry. So this is really pretty packaging too. I really like that. And then let's see, this is an even lighter color of purple. It looks white in my camera. That's how light it is. This is fresh dark berries bring vibrance to warm linen. When, first, when I first sniff the top, I smell um, fabric softener. Not necessarily downy, just, you no, know, it could be like a downy. I don't smell any berry. 
at all. Maybe a little bit of a sweetness, but not really a strong berry. I definitely smell fabric softener the most in this. That's what it smells like to me. A sweet fabric softener scent is what it smells like. Okay, so next we have black raspberry sangria, juicy dark berries and vibrant orange with a splash of fruit nectar. So this is a, the same nice real dark color there. And then we have really deep dark, which reminds you of like a wine color. Oh, this is really good. That noise in the background is my cats playing with their toy. <laughs> this smells delicious. This is definitely a really, definitely vibrant. Wow, I get the orange and the real deep dark fruit. Mmm, this smells good. As long as it doesn't end up, sometimes I really like the smell of this type of scent on cold, but then you get like a perfuminess to it, and I don't like that when it's mixed with this black raspberry. But this actually smells very good on cold, so I'm hoping it'll smell good on warm. This is a really bright, uplifting, fruity scent to me. And then last but not least is uh, Black Raspberry Woods. This is the controversial one. Everybody says they get a funky smell from it. Deep Forest Wood Shade Wild Dark Berry. So you would think it would be like a pine type scent maybe with the dark berries. So this one's a really pretty purple. And I love wood scents. So on the top, that actually smells really good. Okay, on the bottom, I kind of get what people are saying because right away I smelled like wet socks or something and not a clean wet sock, kind of like a dirty wet sock. Like you were in your shoes all day out in the rain and I don't know, and you take it off. It's like a, a sneaker that gets wet sometimes, how it smells after. But the more I smell it, that seems to go away and it's really a nice uh, woodsy, fruity scent so it's you definitely get that uh wood note in there like i don't know if there's like sandalwood in it um i'd love to know what the actual woods scents are because i only got that very quickly that uh weird smell and then it went away this is really good almost um a woodsy cologne like maybe amber even in there. I'm really hoping this is really good because it. I'm. I really like the smell of this one. So that is all of my um, collections. Thank you uh, for watching. Let me know if you picked up any of these collections and what you're thinking so far. I would love to hear, and I would like to get to warming these soon, so I'll be able to give you my thoughts on um, what I think, and I will get back to you with those. So thank you for watching, and uh, let me a comment, and just let me know how you're loving these. See you later.